Hello all. Today's story is called Haunted Henry, a Thomas and Friends book. This is a story about Henry, who said he didn't believe in ghosts. But one misty autumn night, some spooky things began to happen that Henry couldn't explain. It was a moonlit autumn night on the island of Sodor. The Fat Controller had given Henry Edward special jobs to do. Henry's job was to take goods train along the old line. As they waited for their trains, the engines heard the hoot of an owl. There's a legend that when the owl hoots, a mist rolls in, said Edward. They say it brings the ghost of the fogman who got lost in the mist long ago and was never found. I don't believe in ghosts, Henry snorted with a puff of steam. And neither should you. Don't you have enough to do without scaring yourself with those silly stories? But as Henry steamed off with his goods train, he couldn't help thinking about Edward's story. Owls, mists, ghosts, he grumbled to himself. Edward's going soft in the boiler. There's no mist tonight. But Henry was wrong. As he chuffed down the old line, a thick blanket of mist settled over the rows. He could hardly see anything but the dark, spooky trees on either side of him. Through the mist, Henry saw a dim glow ahead. What's that? he asked fearfully. It's an amber lamp, his driver said as they got closer. It's warning us to be careful. Henry clept slowly forward. He soon came to a tree with a sign that read, Beware the viaduct. Strange, said the driver. There's a fogman's coat hanging near the red signal. Who's there? he called, but no one answered. Didn't Edward say ghost of a fogman? Henry puffed nervously. But you don't believe in ghost, Henry? His fireman teased. Shall we go back to the yard now? Henry didn't answer. He just steamed away as fast as his wheels could carry him. By the next morning, the mist had cleared. A workroom reported to Henry's driver that the viaduct was unsafe and being repaired. We're lucky that we didn't cross it last night, puffed Henry. Yes, but we still don't know who lit the amber lamp as a warning, said his driver. But Henry knew who had done it, the ghost. And when he learned that he was to take another train over the viaduct that very night, Henry's wheels whirled with worry. Just then, Thomas chuffed into the yard. Henry told him about the legend of the spooky things he had seen the night before. Rubbish, Thomas laughed cheekily. Every engine knows there's no such things as ghosts. You weren't there, Henry puffed with a shiver. If you're so sure, why don't you take my train down to the old line tonight? No, 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 thank you, Thomas peeped, backing away. I've got a busy day tomorrow and I need my rest. And he wished away as fast as he could. By nightfall, Henry's firebox was sizzling nicely, but he was still worried. As he waited for his driver, he heard the owl hoot again. And when Gordon raced by like a clap of thunder, Henry almost jumped off the rails. Look, Henry spooked, laughed a truck rudely. The other engines giggled, scared e engine, scared e engine. I'm not scared, Henry said bravely, but it wasn't really true. As Henry shunted his trucks down the old line, the mist returned thicker than the night before. Once again he saw the amber light glowing through the gloom. Here we go again, his driver said. Steady now. The warning stein was still on the tree. There's the fogman's coat again, Henry gasped as he rolled forward inch by inch. The trucks had stopped laughing now. Now they were as scared as Henry. 
Suddenly the signal ahead went red, and the gates closed shut behind themselves. A light flickered in the old station house, and a mysterious figure appeared at the window. A ghost! A ghost! cried the trucks. Faster! Faster! The frightened trucks jumped down the line and crashed through the gates, taking Henry with them. Stop! Stop! shouted Henry, but the trucks sped on. Up ahead, Henry saw that a landslide of rocks had fallen on the rails. He had to stop. Henry's driver applied the brakes so hard that they screeched. Henry managed to stop the train just in time to avoid a crash. Well done, said his driver. Just then they heard a strange, creaky sound. There's your ghost, Henry, smiled the fireman. I think he's chasing us. Henry's driver looked closer. It's old Bailey, the fogman. I tried to warn you about the viaduct, old Bailey told them, as he stopped his rusty pump trolley. We're sorry we ignored your warning, said Henry's driver. We thought the viaduct was clear. How can we thank you? I'd like to open this old station again, replied old Bailey, and I promise I won't scare Henry any more. Soon after, old Bailey's wish was granted. The station opened up again and a grand celebration. Instead of a red fogman's coat, old Bo Bailey wore a blue station master's uniform and cap. You will be really useful by warning of, of danger, said the fat controller. Let's hear a big thank you to the friendliest ghost on Sodor. Henry whistled happily. He always knew there was no such thing as ghosts. The end. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to hear more, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.